Ross and I both gave eulogies at uh, Peter Canuti's funeral, uh, a young man who had a limb sparing based on the principles that we established in dogs and sadly had a complication from his treatment that ultimately killed him. It, it re-established in my soul that we had more to do. And from there, we've certainly seen the failures drop and the successes rise, but it's not 100%. And until we're at 100%, the fight ain't over. Peter was diagnosed in 1993. He had the limb salvage done sort of in the middle of that year. It was a procedure they had developed and Ross had performed previously, but Peter was one of the earlier patients to receive it. And we lost him and, and um, we won't let that happen again. I, I think that Peter, in a way, is an example of how their work came together. Like, he couldn't have had the limb salvage he had if it, had, it hadn't been for Steve's work and Steve's collaboration with Ross. Right from the start, I mean, things that are used every day now in orthopedic surgery, these growth factors that tell the animal or the human to make their own bone. All that was, work was done up at CSU. The chemotherapy protocols, the things we've learned, it's changed uh, the situation where 90% of these kids used to die, now 90% live. I mean, it's, it's actually astounding. That is super encouraging. Yay! Gives me goosebumps. <laughs> the whole journey of Peter really exemplifies the battle and the challenge that people face with limb-threatening diseases and the reason why it's so important that we continue this research. The chair provides a, a renewable source of income forever. And in this case, Nicole is being appointed. We're both very proud of Nicole. We look at her as, as kind of our child grown up. She's been in training now with us at CSU for almost 20 years. Now she's going to scoot right past both of us with her intellect, her vision, her drive, her ability to get things done. And so this really solidifies her laboratory. You just can't do any other way. You know, we need things like this so that we can propel new treatments forward, you know, so we can make it to the, to the patient faster. Not only that patients will live, but they live their whole lives and they live their best lives. And that's not just for humans, it's for our animal patients too. I mean, ultimately, I'm a veterinarian, so I mean, I want to impact human lives, but I want to impact animal lives too. Thank you. You're so welcome. He's a, he is a really special guy. I'm really happy you brought him all the way from St. Louis to see us. That's amazing. Yes, yes. Only the best for the gospel. Yes. I'm now particularly we're... honored that CSU can recognize Ross's contributions to the whole discipline of musculoskeletal biology and oncology. So bones and cancer and repair and survival. And equally as happy for the fact that Nicole Earhart, one of my trainees, is taking that chair and that this relationship will not only continue but get stronger. It's a great honor to hand it off to you. I hope I'm live long enough to see you. And I just can't think of anyone better to, to take on that legacy than Nicole. It just gives me a lot of hope. It gives me a lot of hope that families won't in the future have to go through what my family went through. I think this is that next step to, to getting to where we're, we're more at the 100% survival, which is obviously what we want.